I think the right thing, like how I look back on it now, when Björn was born, um, I was mentally prepared that I wanted to use all my focus on the little boy. I w didn't want to feel that, oh, I can't train and I miss out of these hours and this. Uh, for me, the most important thing in the beginning was to be a mom. And then at the second hand, if I get some hours now and then to training, that will be fine. It's a, it is a new situation, totally. Uh, and you need a little bit time to get used to that, at least I did that. Um, because you have been exercising and doing sport for so many years. So full, like, that's like a full the time most job. important thing, yes. yeah. Okay, and then? Uh, and then you don't have the energy for doing it because the kid, the little baby, take all the energy and then you don't and then you feel bad because you are not training so it is a really a tough new situation in the beginning but I, I found it um, um, of course we we are pri privileged that we have our parents living around they could help us help. so I, when I started training again after a week or two I, yeah I think I was on my bike uh, already a week later yeah, well <laughs> that is a, another performance <laughs> <Yeah>. from you <laughs> uh, and I felt good about it I, I was probably after 10 days I had the two or two and a half hour ride after 10 days after Björn was born mm. and I was surprised how how fine yeah. I felt but you were fit from before uh, yeah but I a lot of people told me that you can train a lot when you're pregnant and normally you can do that as long as you listen really carefully how the body reacts response. yeah response mm -hmm. on your body mm -hmm. but i didn't push that limit i really was always training on the safe side no oh. intervals uh, nothing really hard where i as soon as i felt uncomfortable as the, the stomach was getting bigger oh. i stopped because if I didn't feel comfortable, I thought the baby wouldn't yeah, be comfortable either. I'm pretty sure. Yes. So I could probably have trained much more up to he was born, but I didn't want to push that level. I enjoyed being really uh, motionist, whatever you call that, being on a much lower level than I had oh. used to be for so many years. And I did cycling easy, used my bike, up to one and a half month before giving birth. But I had good experience with doing hiking in the mountains up to okay. 14 days before okay. the this little boy. Advice. Yeah. Yes. So give, doing hiking was super because then you can take your own break if you have walked up to a mountains and you feel like, oh, I, and then you decide also you the pace your, yourself. But it's also a good activity where you use your whole body and especially when you the, the stomach start growing, you get s stiff hips yeah. and things are getting more sore. But being out in the nature, moving uh, in the way you do when you do hiking in, in, the, in the terrain, uh, I felt that was really comfortable. And I also did a lot of swimming. Oh, okay. Three days before uh, he was born, I did my last swimming. Uh, but you have to wait normally six weeks after to go back to swimming. After giving birth? Yeah, giving yes. birth. <coughs> That's the recommendation. So I think I was uh, back uh, swimming again after five weeks or something. Mm -hmm. And that was fine. Uh, so swimming was super training when you were, even when you are the biggest mm -hmm. before giving. I think if, if we didn't have that... Um, uh, if we didn't knew that we had so much help and, and support from our parents, I think I wouldn't have continued with my sport. I didn't want to put the little baby to, baby to someone that I didn't know. Uh, okay. Then I, I wanted, we wanted to have a baby and then we also wanted to take care of it. Because if not, I don't deserve being a mama if I'm not there yes, as, right. as a mama. Yeah. Uh, but I think our parents, they, they do it with love and, and joy, really, to look after the yeah. little boy. And like now, when we are back in top level again, and we travel a lot to many races, they come with us. And, the and with yeah. the baby? Yeah. Oh, okay. So well, nice. uh, I, go to, I go to South Africa for the first World Cup alone, or with the team. 
then they won't be there. But uh, for the most mo rest of the season, they they will come with us for a lot of the races and also training camps. And it's mainly my mom and dad when we go travel and at home. Kenneth's mom looks often after the little boys. But when when we come become parents, it was first then we realized actually how much time we spend it on resting and recovery and oh, sleeping okay. uh, because that's a big part of having success, success yeah, as a sport yeah, person yeah. but when you become a mom that part falls out no totally. more rest <laughs> no more rest no resting no okay. recovery training you yeah, have okay. much less sleep so that was um, a, a tough challenge in the beginning uh, because um, I wasn't so mentally prepared for that uh, because I probably had had the life we had for so many years that that was a common thing in our mm -hmm. world yes. to rest a lot because we knew that that was important for having top results and then suddenly that thing falls away and that was a so there was a big gap in your yeah, training that was uh, a big program. change um, uh, but now I think with the experience we have now he will be two years old next month so time is flying um, uh, it feels like now we have much more control we are much more relaxed we we know much more about the new life we love it more than the life we had that's course, for sure yeah. um, and that means that you are also more you know more how to do the day also to get your rest uh, right. because of the experience mm -hmm. um, and that will also be important for having big success again already this season that you have more focus on having your rest time in between the activity or the, the cycling you do and also get the sleep you need for yeah. still performing in top level in your sport yeah. first of all they should really be grateful to have a healthy boy or a healthy girl and become a mom, in my opinion. It's the biggest thing I ever have been into that's becoming a mom and it can't be compared to anything else in my life. Uh, uh, but it is, the first months are totally new when it's the first born. Yes. And uh, no one can tell you and try and explain you what it is because it, you just can't imagine what it is like before it happened to yourself. And that's for the first weeks and first month that was a little bit shock in the, in the beginning uh, because it's a big big change in my opinion. There are some people I know that say, no, we won't change our life when we become. We want to do the same things we have done before. I but I, un I I don't understand how they can even say that because the the, the life is totally changed. Yeah. There are someone new in the life that you really want to spend most hours with and there are new things happening every day that you wish you could remember everything but you can't it's too many things that happen and i think also um i don't know at least for us there are more um, happiness and happiness in a one way every day because this little miracle we have of a son uh, he is fantastic and giving is something that we never had before um Sometimes he is being a naughty boy and not being nice and you want to go, ah, you have to be nice. <laughs> so it happens to you as well? Not often, but uh, <laughs> it can be sometimes. And I have to admit, this winter was a tough winter when we were so much sick. He started in kindergarten in September and he brought home everything that was in the kindergarten of oh virus and bacteria. Looking at if you have in a half an hour and you can't do training, uh, be satisfied with that. Instead mm. of you Wanting do more. the training and then you feel bad because you didn't do more than half an hour. Okay. I think we have to be a little bit in the first year and be more focused on doing and using and be happy for the training we managed to put in. Uh, and not always be this conscious that ah oh, shit I should have done much more, and then you don't get out of the f the few hours you have you don't get as much out of that as you could because you always feel that oh I should have done. We try not to, we try to be on the safe side, not push the limit okay, too yeah. much because mm, okay, I good. I wanted to have a a health not only in the five months but i wanted to have a health also in five years mm -hmm. uh, so like you also up look the in the future stronger and stronger 
and not suddenly collapse because you push the limit too fast and too early after giving preg uh, being pregnant yes. and then giving, giving birth. birth. Mm -hmm. So uh, we really we didn't push it. We we looked at it as building up the bo body and the, the machine, the the health step by step, mm -hmm. and try not to think about what you did before, how much you trained. Yeah. You have a new life and, and you should not push it too hard in the beginning. Uh, the body has been through a miracle being nine months pregnant and creating that beautiful thing that comes out after nine months. Um, it is a big, big task for the body and if you push it too hard, too early, mm -hmm. you can, uh, it's not for sure you will be 100% healthy again maybe. Listen to your body because you want to train, but maybe you are too exhausted from being a mom. Yeah. Not get your sleep as you used to. You never rest as you used to. So I think I had to force myself to really listen more to my body if I was exhausted. But in your mind, I have to train. Yeah. It's not always the right type thing to do because you are not, you are not, um, what do you say? You can't handle or you don't get anything out of the training anyway because you're too tired so you have to be a little bit more uh, Unders honest understanding with yourself and un un honest with yourself and yeah. listen to your body if I'm too tired I'm very tired it doesn't necessarily mean you get anything out of the training you do maybe yeah. it's better to go on the sofa and rest for an hour with a baby the in your babe, arms yeah Yes. So um, uh, and it was tough. All three of us being sick for a long time, at the same time, and you were so sick that you felt that you couldn't even take care of yourself. And then yeah, you feel yeah. that you are not a good mom because you are sick and you feel that you can't even take care of yourself. So it has been a tough winter, but um, it's good that we learn also from those things. And at the moment. Um, I feel that my health is back, I'm back on my bike and I feel good and I think also when it comes to our job as a mountain biker, I, I, th I think we have a really good plan and also being sure about that we do it in a balanced way where we also can be a family in also doing our sport on top level and that is just a good feeling to have now going towards a new season. Yeah.